So the stock market's taking another beating, and here we go again. But Marvell Technology, or MRVL, is one of those with strong fundamentals, came out with a great quarter just the other week, and growth is looking to accelerate uh, into, the, into the year. These are all things that we are looking for to prosper in this downtime, establish our position, and then accelerate out, just like the company will, uh, when things bottom out and then recover. It's hard to pick the absolute bottom of these, uh, these situations, uh, but if you can get close to it or closer to it, uh, you're gonna come out light years ahead. We last covered Marvell uh, in October of 2024 at a price of $72.84. Uh, at that time, Marvell looked, looked good, and it went on a tear all the way up into uh, the $127 uh, target range. Um, that was quite a run, uh, but now it's fallen all the way back into the mid 60s. So this is what has gathered my attention and it will gather your attention as an investor as well. A company that's made numerous key acquisitions and mergers over uh, the past decade or so has really evolved into a AI powerhouse and a company that is often referred to as a either a mini Broadcom or a mini Qualcomm, depending on who you're talking to. Uh, but that just means they're, they're smaller, nimble, and well positioned to grow faster than the overall semiconductor industry. Marvell touches automotive, custom ASICs, uh, optical optics, um, DPUs, uh, data center uh, switches, and lots and lots of things. Marvell is expected to get a significant portion of the AI spend going forward. They've carved out quite a quite a niche for themselves, and this is a company that is that is doing quite well. So why the sell-off? Look at the overall economic climate. It's been punishing these technology companies. Uh, they can get blown off really high to the to the top side and get overbought. But they also, when they do come down, like of all these sectors, they get punished uh, quite readily and they get sold off too far to the downside. We're in that lower part of the bucket right now where I'm going to start to accumulate more Marvell Technologies again, as this is a company I will have a long-term position in uh, going forward. We'll cover a little bit more, but they had a great quarter that they just announced. Growth is accelerating. Now, they're saying that the that the next quarter results are going to be a little bit lackluster. That's only before things are expected to ramp up dramatically and look for massive growth in the second half of the year. Uh, they've got uh, some cooperation agreements with India. They've got the 2NM technology that they're unleashing. And again, highly levered to artificial intelligence. And this, this company is a comer. So let's take a quick look at the fundamentals and make sure that that uh, we, we're well grounded in this. So as we talk fundamentals, I'm thinking things such as revenue growth, margins, margin expansion, cash flow. Uh, Marvell hit it quite nicely on all of these categories just, just the other week, and they've been demonstrating this over, over quite, quite a bit of time. Uh, market cap has come down dramatically. This was, this was at $100 billion just, uh, just a handful of weeks ago. And now it's down to $55, $56 billion. And a company that's traded in the past year at a range between $53 and $127, it's coming into the low part of its trading range, which to me also spells opportunity. So, uh, hey, just year to date, that price is down 42%. That's, uh, that's significant. In the past year, down 15%. So they've oversold their position from a year ago. Five year is looking pretty strong. Um, trailing 12 month revenue, $5.4 billion. So this is a company of, of substantial size and it's a company revered across the industry. Fantastic uh, cash flow, 1.18 billion in cash flow they, they supplied in their, in their last year. This is a phenomenal number. And with analysts targeting this stock between $90 and $188, with an average price of 117, when the market comes back, and it will come back, this company, Marvell, will rip dramatically higher, and we'll all we'll all be uh, smiling uh, quite nicely as as how this has come back. Again, not without risk, but solid company, fantastic exposure, great product lineup, 
uh, incredible management team, uh, big expectations that this company has a lot to offer for the future. Um, back in October, I had a 150 share stake uh, in Marvell. I sold a third of it off at 115 to 120 uh, not long ago, just in the last six weeks or so, and hung on to 100 shares. But now I'm going to go in and start acquiring more shares again as it's come even down even lower than when I purchased it last time. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, take a look and see if Marvell's right for you. But this one's a little bit larger, a little bit more stable company than some of the penny stocks that we take a look at. And I thought this might be appealing to, to um, a swath of, of investors such as you uh, out there. Let me know what you're doing. If you like Marvell, if you're getting in at this level, I'm not going to worry about timing the market in this. Uh, as long as, as long as we're close to the bottom, which it feels like we are, upside is tremendous and the excitement will roar back as soon as, as, soon as certain things get taken care of here in the economy. I think uh, this is a great opportunity to, to get yourself some more. Let me know what you're doing. We'll talk again real soon.